What's going on there guys? Good evening. It is the Earth Master here on this Thursday, April 21st, 2022 date, about 7.20 p.m. California time. Latest quake shows a 2.2 earthquake out in the middle of the Pacific there, right around the big island of Hawaii. What's going on out here on the earthquake world? Let's go ahead and check it out here across the USGS map. A little bit of movement out into the northern California region as well. Right at the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. 1.8 at 12.7 kilometers deep into the subduction zone here. So a little bit of movement taking place here in northern California. Uh, some activity up around the bay or down around the bay area as well. Right off the Calaveras fault zone, right? Uh, or Calaveras, yep. Outside of Concord, a 2.1 at uh, 9.8 kilometers. Other than that, there's not a whole lot of movement going on along the eastern crest, Sierra Nevada, Ridgecrest area. Uh, a couple bumps in the in the uh, earthquake department out there, some twos, and it looks like a couple ones. And as far as the activity down here in Southern California here, we kind of seen this backing off a little bit. Uh, we did have a couple quakes here uh, throughout the early afternoon, uh, including a, uh, a 3.6 earlier this afternoon uh, in the Brawley seismic zone area. Since then, just a couple small microquakes. So this hasn't completely died out. There's always that possibility of the swarms kicking back up after some plate adjustment. So we will keep an eye on that pretty closely. Uh, down into the Middle America Trench, uh, following that 6.7 there off the coast of Nicaragua, into the Middle America Trench here. Still seeing some aftershock sequences in the three range, not showing up here on the USGS map though. Uh, before we go down too far south, let's go ahead and continue on with the states here. We're starting to notice a little bit of movement here into the Intermountain West, right up against the mountains here. Uh, looks like right outside, north of uh, Cedar City, Utah, in the desert out there uh, near Milford. Quite a few zero earthquakes, and I'm not for sure what that's all about, but uh, a lot of negative earthquakes here, and very shallow at that. It's right, uh, just looks like it's right off the Mineral Mountains fault system out there. Uh, Texas area, right around the Pecos, Texas, Nodessa, Midland area. Seen a little bit of movement as well, including a 2.6 near the Gardendale, Texas area. Oklahoma, pretty quiet. One earthquake out there. Looks like uh, in the eastern part of Oklahoma and the New Madrid zone. It's got a double earthquake tap here tonight. A 2.3 and a 2.6 in this area of the New Madrid zone. Eastern part of the country looks pretty quiet. Puerto Rico area hasn't seen any further movement following this morning's uh, earthquake activity. Just a couple of twos and threes in that region. And uh, same for the South America area. Uh, these two earthquakes here were from... Uh, Looks like at least one of them from this morning, uh, this morning, and a um, 4.7 earlier this afternoon. But no major earthquake movement to report in the South America region, South Atlantic Ocean, 5.1 and a 5.2 out there in the rift zone, South Atlantic Ocean area, in the um, Mid Atlantic Ridge. Uh, working our way backwards here throughout the Indonesia area. Look at this. Solomon Islands, New Zealand area, all has gone quiet, folks. So something's got to give here. Uh, this is way, way too quiet. Uh, and one earthquake up here in the Kurokamachaka Trench of 5.0. Now, a lot of times when we see this quiet spell activity, we see a major ramping up of movement along the West Coast. So uh, we could possibly be looking at the first telltale signs of, of that movement. So we'll have to be on guard out here along the eastern part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. Uh, but that also includes areas here in the plates um, that are just on the eastern side of the Pacific Ring of Fire here. Uh, that includes areas around the South America region as well. So it's just all too quiet. We don't we don't see that too often, right? This much quietness on the western part. But uh, when we do, we tend to see things kick up here along the eastern side. Hawaii. Go ahead and check out that movement here. Southeastern region of the Big Island couple twos and some ones there no major movement no major volcanic activity things appear to be just about the same as uh they have been over the past couple weeks there uh, we did see that one earthquake up here in the coral islands that was earlier this morning so no subsequent movement following that activity uh yellowstone let's go ahead and check these guys out here real quick i'll update the map and uh well, what do we have? Not a whole lot of anything. That large signature you see there on most of the seismographs are indeed that 6.7 there that was off the coast 
uh, into the Middle America Trench this morning. Uh, 6.7. As uh, far as any localized earthquake activity, I'm not seeing any show up there on the Yellowstone map. Uh, tremor activity, at least from today, looks pretty quiet. Not a whole lot going on. We'll check yesterday's movement. 32 epicenters here of tremor along the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. Not a big number, but a little bit of increase there over the last couple days. Volcanic seismicity map here at Mount St. Helens. We'll double check that and make sure things are being reported as such. If they're not, we will find out, right? Because it's all provided here, pending they don't black it out. Uh, one little earthquake here in the past hour, it looks like a little red one. Um, just on that red line. Not a red earthquake, but on the red line. Little small microquake. And earlier this mo uh, this morning and afternoon, we'll see on this map right here. Uh, and see what these guys are reporting. Look at those waves. Look at those S waves, surface waves from the uh, that 7.6 that struck uh, in the middle of America Trench. That is crazy how vibrations can uh, travel through the earth like that at considerable distances. Uh, since then, uh, looks like a little couple small microquakes there in the area of Mount St. Helens, but overall uh, volcanic uh, activity and tectonic plate activity up there appears to be pretty quiet for now. Uh, let's go back here to this map. Uh, yeah, like I said, there's not a whole lot going on, folks. I mean, not a whole lot whatsoever. So I'm going to check out the EMSC model uh, and see what these guys are reporting. Uh, maybe there's some activity uh, showing up and just USGS is not mentioning it. Looks like a 4.8 uh, down here and also a 4.7. So that 4.7 not being reported by the USGS, neither of those two earthquakes. Uh, and some fours in the, quite a few fours up here through the uh, Indonesia Islands area. Over here along the Java Trench too. I'm not for sure what the USGS is doing, but they're not, uh, uh, maybe they're taking the day off, folks. Just take the day off. Uh, not a whole lot being reported there by those guys. Alrighty then, we'll we'll, we'll just uh, we'll just report as uh, it's shown to us here. A 4.3 here along the Taiwan area looks like the Taiwan area looks like the western part of the Philippine plate. We had a 4.3 just coming in, uh, just within the last hour it looks like. So. Yeah, a little bit of movement, folks. De definitely not being reported, but I still think it's somewhat uh, quiet out here along this region. Even with those uh, earthquakes showing up on the EMSC model, still fairly quiet in that area of the Pacific Plate. Uh, earthquakes Canada, the north northern part here of the uh, North American Plate. Let's see if these guys are reporting anything. Looks like the uh, looks like a little activity at the northern end of the Cascadia subduction zone here, including one within the Purple Circle. A 2.8 at 10 kilometers there near Bella Bella, BC. 10 kilometer depth for that 2.8 right there on the northern end of the Cascadia. Up further into the Pacific and the North American plate. A uh, couple red circles there indicating some very small earthquakes there. Uh, off the coast there at the village of Queen of Charlotte, BC region. Just 2.3 and 2.2 uh, within that same area of the plate boundary. Solar weather activity. See what's going on out here along the sun. Of course, we've all been watching and waiting for this uh, activity to see what uh, it becomes. Right now, it's somewhat, uh, uh, well, it's big, right? It's obviously a major sunspot region, but we're not looking at any uh, significant flaring at the moment. In fact, let's go ahead and zoom in here. Looks like we're about ready to cross the sea level threshold below there. So things are not crackling and popping at the moment, but... Uh, it could be getting ready to charge up here. We've got to watch this in the coming days as the sunspots rotate further towards our region for a possible direct hit if anything does pop off here in the coming days. So maybe it's just fueling up. It's saving it, its energy for the big show. Uh, who knows what? This weekend, maybe early next week. We'll keep a close eye on it. And we will definitely update you guys uh, if anything does pop off. But... Uh, don't let this quiet spell, uh, this little quiet spell fool you at all, folks, because we could see a major X flare just like, just like that. Uh, C flare possibility, 99% chance. Currently, 75% uh, chance for M flare, 25% chance for an X flare. And the um, global D layer absorption map looks pretty quiet for now, a little calm. 
Uh, Three-day geomagnetic forecast looks for calm conditions currently across the board. And um, that's, that's about it. I mean, there's not a whole lot going on currently. Uh, but like I say, there's a lot there, but there's not a whole lot going on, if that makes any sense. So we will see what these things want to do. Uh, there is some further development around the bend here. Um, but some new development looks like on this side of the sun. But uh, we'll, we'll watch it, right? We'll see what this thing wants to do. Uh, I did go out storm chasing today, folks. Unfortunately, I'm a little disappointed. Not a whole lot going on with the... Uh... No. I was up here in chat, kind of reading the chat here. Uh, definitely not the rapture. You know, California has its beauty. California de definitely has its beauty when it comes to the, uh, the scenery for the most part. But uh, yeah, the California, I don't know. I'm ready. I'm ready to get out of here for sure. Uh, have I tried barbecue shrimp? Barbecue shrimp? Uh, I think I have a time or, time or two. Anyway, what's going on there, guys? Valer uh, Valerian? Valerian? DQ, what's going on? Robert, thanks for checking in there as well. Uh, yeah, still think California is a uh, earthquake watch because of that. Yeah, I still think California does have a pretty good chance, even though that swarming has popped uh, you know, lower down a little bit. We did still see some movement, of course, out there in the uh, Brawley seismic zone. Uh, there's still always that probability here, but within the last hour, within the last couple hours, we haven't seen any uh, further swarming activity. Most of this here is from uh, earlier today, early earlier this afternoon. So, uh, of course, as always, this could come to a quiet spell uh, here for the next couple hours, and then boom, you know, there's enough stress to pop a, a few earthquakes and trigger the big one. You just never know. Uh, so technically, we're always under watch, but when we issue the earthquake watch here on the channel, uh, we're looking at some major swarming going on around, uh, you know, for example, the southern part of the San Andreas Fault or the Cascadia. Uh, and it's been, it's tapered off uh, for the most part. Uh, not completely, though. Definitely not completely. So, Robert, yeah, definitely a good chance still, um, you know, for that watch out here in Southern California. So we'll see. Uh, and you got it right. Along with the activity here in the uh, Middle America Trench, most of that is deep, uh, so that definitely could spell uh, for some trouble up here along the upper part of the plate. That includes other areas of the Middle American Trench and into the Pacific and North American Plate, which of course includes, right, Southern California. So we'll watch it. Um, have a good day, folks. Hopefully my microphone wasn't blowing you guys out of the water. Uh, <laughs> all right, Cindy, right? Sounds good. Uh, but yeah, I noticed my microphone was just way up into the red. So I'm going to taper that down just a little bit. See if that helps out any. All right, guys, have a good night. Stay safe. We will be back a little bit uh, later if something big pops off. If not, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for the five star there. We'll catch you guys a little bit later on. Peace out.